Hello everyone. In this particular video, I'll be discussing about sets comprehension. We have already seen how we can perform list comprehension, tuple comprehension, right? And we saw like what is the use of this particular comprehension concept inside Python. We can use this particular concept to write our code in very uh, few lines, right? That is the idea. So let's try to see uh, some example of set comprehension. This is the same things, uh, uh, whatever you have learned in your list comprehension and tuple comprehension, only the bracket will change. Okay, let me show you. So I'll go to my code editor. So guys, before starting with this particular video, I will suggest if you have missed out, uh, these are the class like the list comprehension, tuple comprehension. So please try to go ahead and complete that particular video. Then this concept would be more clear because I'm not going to explain this particular comprehension in detail. I already discussed there, okay, what is the comprehension? Why we need to use this particular comprehension? And there actually I showed you different different example. Okay, I saw different different example. So please try to go ahead and watch that particular video. Okay, that would be fine. So here I'm going to only give you one example. Uh, I think this particular concept will be clear. Okay, how to write this particular set comprehension. So for this, what I can do, I can uh, open up my let's say list comprehension example, and from here I can copy one example. Let's say. Uh, this is the this is this is one example I solved. I think you remember add uh, 1 to 10 numbers in a list So we solve this particular problem. I think you remember uh, this is the simple approach and this is the list comprehension approach So I'll copy the same code as it is and here I'm going to mention it and instead of using this particular bracket I can use this particular uh, Curly bracket. Okay, curly bracket means uh, we are performing the set operation, right? Now if I execute this particular program see instead of taking L variable I will set SC that means set comprehension right now if I execute you will uh, you'll see that it's a set comprehension we have done. Okay, previously I showed you for the list comprehension. Now it is a set comprehension. Now guys, you can see this another example. So here what I'm doing, I'm only actually doing the square root operation. The number is uh, greater than 5. Okay, I'm just generating some number 1 to 11. And I'm checking if this is like greater than 5, I'm doing the square root operation. Now if I execute this particular program, you will see the output. Fine, I hope you got it. Only the change is you have to change this particular bracket. Fine. And if any duplicates is coming inside that, it will give you the unique value of it. That is the idea. So I'll give you one task. What you can do, whatever things we have learned inside list comprehension, whatever example we did, right? Just try to also perform with the help of set comprehension. The same example you can do. Okay. And you can comment in the comment section, all the code. Fine. So yes, this is all about the uh, sets comprehension. There is nothing new. Okay. I have to teach you. I think uh, so far we have learned each and everything. So yes, guys, this is all about from this particular video. Thank you so much.